I'm always under I'm always concerned about the manpower issues. You seem to have dominated so, but you're actually supposed to have lunch with me, but you can't because you're you really own the place, you're right. making it a bit of why. Um, I think it's a, there's a myriad of issues. And I think it's starting with the inconsistent shutdown between the state at the state level in quarter four of, of twenty twenty and it's just right. kind of cascading. Oh, they pay people there not to are. work, that's part of it, and a lot of people right. left the industry and because of the uncertainty in our state. So whether or not we're gonna be continuing to operate. So that's another huge problem. And and now I think I mean do you have any what do you think? I mean, uh, I think putting people out of work for as long as they were, it's, it's hard to get them back into the workforce. So people have found other ways to generate income, unfortunately, other than actually going back into brick and mortar buildings and offices and buildings. And uh, that seems to have uh, continued on even after the, you know, the, the, the government help and the, and the payment help and the employment help. Is your, is your business at risk because you can't get employees? Um, to an extent, yes, because we have had to cut back our hours. Um, we've cut back our menu, we've cut back our hours, which of course leads to a little less uh, revenue and sales for us. And I mean, there's two of us here, so we're able to to sort of step in when needed, but right, it's exhausting after almost two years. I mean, we have two small children at home, and we're, you know, we, we should be working on the business, not in it as much as we are, and things are, things are suffering as a result That's the crazy of that. thing is, and I'm hearing this, the idea that people who are working Sabrina, might lose their jobs you because other people aren't working, yes. the, the whole global is tipping over. Yes, thank really you. Is, yeah. I agree. I mean, these All right. people, thank goodness for them because if they if they haven't stepped up and gone above and beyond for us, I don't know what we would be doing right now. Uh, and we have a huge operation here. And we're probably operating, we have a catering company that we really haven't been able to to get back off the ground since COVID, private events upstairs, we have a nightclub, and then the restaurant that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner six days a week. So a lot of, lot of, lot of stuff at risk, just because we don't have to. Yeah. So, all right, so what should we eat? Take me around, what do you recommend? What's, the, oh, what's like your favorite?